Good evening. Welcome to Thursday, May 21st, 2015 Board of Education meeting. Roll call. Chairman Paternoster. Vice Chair Anafrio. Here. Secretary O'Rourke. Here. Philip Dalmeyer. Here. David McMahon. Here. Deborah Prunier. Here. Diane Bumbeck. Here. Slip to the flag. school, Alec Martone and Stephanie Hogan, were recognized on May 3rd at the annual CIAC Scholar Athlete Dinner. Um, parents, coaches, and school administrators came to support them. And um, I know both of them personally, and not only are the two of them phenomenal athletes, but they're great in school as well. Their grades are great. Um, it was definitely a deserving honor and um, something to be proud of. Also, the high school's National Honor Society induction ceremony took place the evening of May 6th. 29 students were inducted this year, which is a great number. And uh, parents, administrators, and guest speakers were on hand. This is not one of them. And uh, the high school choir even came to perform at the event, and overall just a successful night. And also, senior prom took place the night of May 15th at Anthony's Ocean View in New Haven. Many staff members chaperoned and enjoyed themselves, as did the students. And I was there as a senior. And um, I just want to say that it was definitely really great. It was a fun time. It was put together very well. Um, the place was well picked because I don't know how many of you have been to Anthony's, but the ocean's right behind you. You have like that beach area with the palm trees. It was great to take pictures. We were able to go outside, hang out. There's even like a photo booth. A lot of fun stuff, so it was definitely a memorable time. Sounds like fun. Great. Glad to be safe. Hi. Okay. So, um, Smarter Balance testing was completed during the last week of April and the first week of May. The site coordinator, Robert Ford, made a master schedule working beside the direction of Ms. Fulton. He also collaborated with grade 11 teachers in the math, social studies, and English departments. And I heard that things went smoothly. And uh, testing would not have been successful without the aid and support of the technical department with Ms. Jard and Ms. Baylor. Moreover, uh, advanced placement exams have been scheduled for 11 AP courses starting May 4th and concluding on May 28th. There, um, the 11 AP courses are Studio Art, Psychology, Spanish, Literature and Composition, Biology, U.S. History, Music Theory, Physics, Environmental Science, Language and Composition, and Calculus. Uh, last but not least, Mr. Donazio and Mr. Reynolds gathered 27 students from MPHS to attend the annual Connecticut Construction Day field trip uh, to Mountain State on May 6th. Uh, the day was filled with events with tradesmen, contractors, um, union representatives, and representatives from, for tech, representatives from technical schools, which offered them a ton of information, and I heard that it went really well and we gained a lot of knowledge for the future. Terrific. Thank you. If you guys want to scoot out, if you have... So we're gonna we're gonna hold that. Oh, we're holding it. That's right. Yes. Yes. Don't scoot. Don't scoot. And you both did a wonderful job at Honor Society the other night. Thank you. Okay, moving on to the minutes from April 16th, 2015 board meeting. 
Make a motion. Move to approve the minutes of the April 16, 2015 Board of Education meeting as submitted. I'll second that. Any discussion or changes? Roll call, please. Vice Chair Nafrio? Yes. <coughs> Secretary O'Rourke? Thanks, Dave. Philip Dalmeyer? Yes. David McMahon? Yes. Deborah Pernier? Yes. Diane Von Beck? Yes. And we'll move on to the board meeting, um, the minutes from April 27, 2015. I'll make a motion to the minutes of the April 27, 2015 Board of Education special meeting as submitted. I'll second. Any discussion or changes? Roll call. Vice Chair Nafrio? Yes. Secretary O'Rourke? Yes. Philip Dalmeyer? Yes. David McMahon? Yes. Deborah Pernier? Yes. <clears throat> Diane Vumbeck? Yes. No, you weren't at that one. No, you no, weren't at that one. Like, yeah, no, no, that, was, that was the one that, no. I'm going to change that to a okay. That was during the day. That was like at 9 o'clock in the so. morning. Okay. We move on to personnel. The superintendent has received a retirement resignation from Mr. Dominic Esposito, custodian at North Brantford High School, effective July 6, 2015. Mr. Esposito has been employed by the district for 25 years. We wish him well. Um, and I'll make a motion to approve the addition of three retirement resignations to the May 21st, 2015 Board of Education meeting agenda. I'll second that. Any discussion? Roll call. Vice Chair Nafrio? Yes. <coughs> Secretary O'Rourke? Yes. Philip Dalmeyer? Yes. David McMahon? Yes. Deborah Pernier? Yes. Diane Bumbeck? Yes. Sure. The superintendent has received a retirement resignation from Mr. Richard Terrell, business teacher at North Cranford High School, effective June 30th, 2015, after 35 years of dedicated service to the North Cranford Public Schools. A motion to accept the retirement resignation from Mr. Richard Terrell, business teacher at North Brantford High School, effective June 30th, 2015. Any discussion? Well. Roll call. Vice Chair Nafrio? Yes. Secretary of Work? Yes. Philip Dalmeyer? Yes. David McMahon? Yes. Deborah Pernier? Yes. Diane Bumbeck? Yes. The superintendent has also received a retirement resignation from Ms. Donna McGrath, language arts teacher at North Bramford Intermediate School, effective June 30th, 2015, after 38 years of dedicated service to the North Bramford Schools. I'll make a motion to accept the retirement resignation from Ms. Donna McGrath, language arts teacher at North Bramford Intermediate School, effective June 30th, 2015. I'll second her. Any discussion? Vice Chair Nafrio? Yes. Secretary O'Rourke? Yes. Philip Dalmeyer? Yes. David McMahon? Yes. Deborah Pernier? Yes. Diane Von Beck? Yes. And lastly, the superintendent has received a retirement resignation from Ms. Carolyn Kramer, world language teacher at North Brampton <coughs> Intermediate School, effective June 30th, 2015, after 38 years of dedicated service to the North Brampton Public Schools. <coughs> Make a motion to accept the retirement resignation from Ms. Carolyn Kramer, world language teacher at North Brampton Intermediate School, effective June 30th, 2015. I'll second that. Any discussion? Roll call. Vice Chair Nafrio? Yes. Secretary O'Rourke? Yes. Philip Dalmeyer? Yes. David McMahon? Yes. Deborah Prunier? Yes, I'm sorry. Diane Bumbeck? Yes. Okay, there are no appointments and no leaves at this time, so we move on to the superintendent. I know you'll recognize our retirees, but just to extend our, the board's thanks to uh, these dedicated employees for wonderful careers, totaling over 100 years, well over 100 years for the three of them. They certainly uh, have earned and deserve a wonderful retirement, so we want to publicly thank them. And we'll do that again in June. I think you I had the pleasure of working with all three that we had in our short amount of time that I did work in North Brantford, and they are all very passionate teachers. We were lucky to have them. And I think Diane and I gave them a run for their money in our own place. <laughs> <laughs> we did have all three of them. <laughs> we won't go there. We'll <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. Okay, uh, thank you.
you. I'm honored to have uh, members of Tatucket Valley uh, here this evening, students who were award winners in the Connecticut Invention Convention. Uh, you, if you were not aware, we have taken part in it and had tremendous success um, over the last few years with significant participation. And I want to commend uh, Dr. Lindsay for uh, promoting and supporting our students getting involved uh, in these activities. Uh, they're so worthwhile. Our kids grow and learn so much from their, this experience. And our staff puts a great deal of time and energy uh, into working with our students. So they are to be commended. We do have students here this evening. We are going, I'm going to ask Dr. Lindsay to come up. We are going to uh, recognize each student. I'm going to read uh, just from the paragraph because I don't want to miss anything. I think it's, uh, it's a great accomplishment. And we'll award them with Plaques. Parents, if you'd like to come up, please come forward. Uh, we'll take a picture and then they'll go and shake hands with the board members and we'll take a group shot at the end. Carrie Sabetta, certainly come up. Carrie Sabetta, please come up. From fifth grade, who uh, oversaw the program this year, did a wonderful job. And staff members step up and do this on them all the time. So thank you, Carrie. Honored You're to welcome. have you here. Um, <clears throat> firstly, I'd like to bring uh, Willie Seward, inventor of the safety swing. He received two major awards. He won the Microsoft Accessibility Award and the Lexington Pharmaceuticals Biotechnology Award. Will you also want to uh, recognize the Inventor Award? Is he here? Yeah. Right, let's have a round of applause. Mm -hmm. Are the inventor of the mail back 3000. We also recognize the inventor of the world. So, Cameron, please come forward. Just under 900 students that participated in this competition. So obviously to have four students recognized is quite an honor. So great job to Dr. Valley, teaching staff, administration, and our students. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. So
on to our summer program. It's underway. Uh, we got the theme for, for the summer camp. It's Ocean Commotion. Uh, if you go online now, there's uh, an entire brochure, and families are able to go online and sign up for, uh, their children electronically, and that's been a great help uh, to our staff here. It's just ease and accessibility to the community, so it's gone very, very well to date. We have uh, a Jerome Harrison Elementary Special Ed, or excuse me, uh, paraprofessional, Amber Lake, here with us tonight. Amber was responsible for the artwork on the card. Um, so I encourage you, did you receive copies? Uh, okay, I, at the next board meeting, I will get you the artwork so you will have an opportunity to see that. Uh, but we'd like you to come forward and be recognized. And thank you for your artistic abilities. Thank you. 
um, wanted to help offset costs with the senior trip. Um, and, and if you were not aware, he was also the person that donated the fireworks for um, our Buffalo Live event and really made that night extra special. And we were able to, to stick around and see the fireworks display. So we want to personally thank <coughs> Mr. Sutherland for um, certainly his gener gener uh, generosity. Also, for reaching out and helping uh, the senior class and uh, making this experience that much more memorable. So, thank you, Mr. Sokolov. So, with that donation, we'll need a, a motion to accept that. I make a motion to accept the generous donation of $4,000 from Mr. David Sokolov to be used towards the North Brantford High School's Class of 2015 senior trip. I'll start that. Any discussion? Very generous and thank you very much. Roll call. Vice Chair Anafrio? Yes. Secretary O'Rourke? Yes. Philip Downmeyer? Yes. David McMahon? Yes. Deborah Prunier? Yes. Diane Bumbeck? Yes. Thank you. Uh, our field trip, echoing what you just approved. Uh, the class of 2015 will travel with six flags in Peguan, Mass, on Wednesday, June 10th, uh, as we obviously near to end of the school year. This is a trip that they all look forward to and uh, we're excited to have uh, the opportunity to go to Six Flags. They, I believe, will take two buses for students who need to get back for sporting events and, and other responsibilities and then a bus that will return later in the day with the students that decide to stay. So uh, thank you to the administration and uh, for continuing to offer the, those opportunities for our seniors. They've had Great experience and have been so well behaved. Um, it's, it's an honor and a pleasure to continue with these types of opportunities. Okay, uh, under communication, the, the administrators have been quite busy. I know they are attached. If there's any questions of, of uh, some of the highlights that have been going on, if you've been to the concerts um, at the auditorium over the past month, you've seen the K 12 continuing. Music program and the work that they've been doing. The PDIS had their concert uh, last evening. They ran three separate concerts the sixth grade, the seventh grade, and the eighth grade. I was fortunate enough to uh, be at Tatuca Valley yesterday for a rehearsal of our fifth graders, and there were just under 100 students performing. And what I thought was amazing was that Ms. Tedeschi, she invites the parents or grandparents in to watch her rehearsals. And they do, they, they're conducted in the gymnasium. And it's so methodical and organized and arranged in the participation. Kids are all, not all the kids, but the majority of the kids are assigned responsibilities for cleaning up, setting up, uh, assisting with pa passing out of the music. And they squeeze into a 45 minute time frame or less an amazing amount of teaching and learning and uh, it was something to see and, and I, I knew we were doing it uh, but to sit there and watch and see the growth from the beginning of the year to this point in the year uh, prior to their last concert it, it really speaks to the, the commitment to the arts and that our music program is thriving because of your support as board members you know, our high school numbers have grown to, you know, over 100 students when you look at the, the choral piece and the instrumental piece, the vocal piece. So, it starts at Jerome, it's strengthened through the opportunities at Tatucket, and they roll into NBIS. And by the time they get to the high school, we're seeing the results of kids getting awards in Washington, D.C. Um, you know, so I, I just want to, I want to highlight and, and thank all of our administrators for the twin, continuing to fight for the arts and to support the arts. It made such a difference in so many kids' lives. That's terrific. On, on these um, briefs, I went to the art show. The art was phenomenal. Yes, I mean, exactly. starting at the kindergarten level and, and there was such amazing art. There really, really was. I, I was very impressed. I think it's still up at the library if anybody wants to. Isn't it up to Three days. Yes, yeah, so it's still up at the library if anybody wants to go. But it was fantastic. It really, it really was. And I have a question. Did I miss the IPP showcase? No. Okay. Oh, I June 9th. June 9th. June 9th. That's a little later this year. It is. It was supposed to actually be the second. Originally. 
said the communication portion. Okay. End of the year activities, the dates are listed, starting with the uh, high school academic award ceremony and ending with graduation on the 22nd, is that the 22nd, the Monday? Ending in the snow days. <laughs> and now and then. Um, comments on any of those dates? We, Obviously, encourage and we'd love to have you at as many as it's possible for you to be at with your busy schedules. Uh, <coughs> as I mentioned before, the summer camp uh, is established. I, I do have the booklets, thank you, Mr. Murphy, here tonight for you. Uh, we have sent the brochures to North Haven and Regional District 13, okay. and the flyers have been approved in the uh, Brantford Public Schools. Camp is open to those neighboring districts, and we have uh, moved the camp this year out of Tucker Valley due to the construction. And the camp will be uh, held at Jerome Harrison. So thank you, Dr. Wells, for opening your doors and assisting uh, with with uh, housing not only your programs, your summer school programs, but the, the camp as well. And I don't have to talk to you about the camp. You know uh, how excited not only our students are, but our staff members will come back. And I continue to get letters in, in my seven years um, about students who want, to, who want to volunteer just to get into the loop so that they can become uh, counselors. They volunteer, they come and work all summer long for no pay um, to then eventually you know, be, a, be a paid employee counselor. So if you have any questions, um, about the camp, <coughs> magnetic directorship. She's, she happens to be here tonight. Mm -hmm. Ms. Lauren Berry, is there anything that you'd like to add for um, the board? No, we're also excited to have Mary Savino on board. We worked together a bit last year, and we're going to officially share the role this summer. So we're just excited to welcome everyone back. Well, thank you girls very much. Thank you for both being here, and they do a wonderful job. Uh, the success of our program, obviously, is, is due to the, the leadership uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. So kudos, ladies, thank you for your efforts. And uh, it's hard to believe that camp is only how many weeks away? How many days away? Mm -hmm. It's coming quickly. Coming quickly. <laughs> 20 days. Yes. <laughs> Put in this count. OK, well, I had mentioned the retirements uh, earlier, and then we will honor those retirees uh, prior to the uh, June board meeting at 6.30. Thursday, June 11th. And that's it for my report. Um, quick question. What are we doing about budget? Or did we change that budget meeting? Um, I don't remember. Did the, 
budget meeting. The budget subcommittee meeting. Scheduled for the seventh. That's what I thought we scheduled it for, so that we weren't rushed. Right. Okay. Yeah, because we didn't. The, the problem we tend to have with that is we we bump up against the retiree reception. Right. Right. And I thought something gets shortchanged. Yeah, I thought we talked about changing it to a different day. Right. So it's, it, yeah. it was originally posted as the seventh. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Then we move on to committee reports. Um, negotiations. I guess we'll go into executive session in a little while. Budget and operations. Well, we discussed a number of uh, items at the at the budget and operations subcommittee meeting. Um, we're, we're basically in, in the same shape we were um, last year as far as the current budget. Um, the administrative team has been working on the reductions necessary for the 15-16 budget, which were helped by some of the retirements as a result of the uh, voluntary plan. Um, we also talked about a few odds and ends, like uh, staging area for uh, UI trucks, um, high school bathrooms, uh, and I probably forgot something, but I didn't bring that with me. But I don't think there was anything else of any real consequence. Mm -hmm. Don, I may be putting you on the spot. I apologize if you can get this number next time. But um, with the retirements, what are we still looking to? How much money are we still? About 150,000. You said June 7th was a Sunday? Unless I'm only in a half. No, it is, it is a Sunday. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, it's a Tuesday before the board meeting. Okay. I think the board meeting is tonight. So the second? Yeah, I was just checking out what I was doing here. I was looking at the date. I was trying to put it into my calendar. I thought what is the board meeting? The 11th? Mm -hmm. Yes. It is the 11th. Okay, then the budget meeting is the 9th. Right. The 9th. Okay. okay. Unless you want to keep it to Sunday. And same as the IP. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to take and choose where I want to go. Um, <laughs> okay. Then we move on to curriculum instruction strategic planning. We didn't have a meeting this month. Is there anything you wanted to say, Tracy? No, just that we did submit the administrator and educator evaluation plans to the state. I also forwarded a copy of a FAQ for ACES Summer Academy, which will be a summer school program. We will host a site at MBIS as long as ACES has the enrollment they need for multiple sites. Um, and it will be our summer school program. It will be open to our students. And it is a blended learning environment. We'll have certified staff on hand as well as a program delivered through Ingenuity, which is a blended or online learning platform. ACES will provide the computers, the laptops. Students the opportunity for credit recovery uh, for whatever reasons they're in need of to, to okay. kind of get back on track. So we're excited about this. That sounds good. We've been, um, Ms. Wooten has had conversations with as you know, We're looking at you know other potential opportunities for the district to work with them. So this will be a, a good indication this summer to see uh, you know how it satisfies our needs for our kids. We in the past have gone to North Haven and Wallingford. North Haven is no longer um, open to uh, students from other towns coming in. We're just going to service their, their students. So this actually the timing was perfect uh, to have our kids come right here to Rock Island. Attention. Here we had a meeting two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago. And we made some allocation changes going out of some of the real estate trusts and into some international small cap funds. Uh, but other than that, the pension fund continues to just chug along. Okay. Sounds good. Policy? Uh, we had a meeting and we do have a policy uh, concerning gradual, graduation requirements um, for a first week. Still in negotiations for the building in Hamden uh, to replace the two on Skiff Street, and we had some personnel issues that were that were handled, some retirements, and some changes in that, and the uh, we're ongoing with negotiations with the unions. Perfect. Thank you. Um, building committee. Yes. Um, 
The talked about the bid opening. There were four bids, and this is in regards to the TBES um, roof project. There was a motion to accept the low bid, which was tied in at uh, just roughly under 2.5 with all ad alternates. It was being moved to the town council on the 19th with the expectation to award the bid on the 20th. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Communication. Uh, we had our meeting, uh, council members, and uh, we discussed uh, several projects that were going on, bathrooms, roof, um, traffic, and uh, so yeah, that was basically where we were waiting for the bids to come in on the bathrooms, which came in a little higher than Well, no, we need, we need, you know, 
someone to take direction of that product because it's not state reimbursable. So it's not the roofer's job to measure them and make sure you get the right ones or whatever. So there needs to be some direction as to who's going to handle that. So that, you know, that's, that's up to you guys to decide. It's, it's obviously going to be both children. And Bill and John, and Bill, just as a little bit of background, the, when we did the high school, um, Bill and John did the measurements and everything very quickly. We supplied those to Granger. Granger gave us units that were the right size, but not necessarily the correct replacement. So we ended up having to do a lot of additional work, sending stuff back, getting replacements, and so it wasn't really pretty. Um, so this time what we want to do is we want to do more upfront work and make sure we're getting the right units. Now the one thing Bill didn't have at the time, I think, was which ones were going to be part of the project and which ones were not. So you know, we'll need to coordinate on that, which I assume I can do with Michelle Knock. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, they add alternates on the bid. The council is funding all of that, so all the pitch growth, those are part of the project. So then we'll have to do the, um, the measurements and, and more than just measurements, but it will actually require some disassembly to make sure we're putting the right units in. As far as the effects of statement, we're not set on that yet. We have to, we'll have to work on our numbers. We'll have to get a cost estimate and know where we're at next yeah. year. Okay. Anything else for our visitors and press? Executive session as per section 1225 of the Connecticut General Statutes as permitted by section 1200 6A and C of the Connecticut General Statutes discussing it, agenda item 9A. I'll second. Paul. Paul. Vice Chair Onofrio? Yes. Secretary O'Rourke? Yes. Philip Dalmeyer? Yes. David McMahon? Yes. Deborah Prunier? Yes. Diane Bumbeck? Yes. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve the collective bargaining agreement between the North Bradford Board of Education and Local 1303-228 of Council, number 4, asks me for the secretarial contract effective July 1st, 2014 through June 30th, 2017. I'll Any discussion? Roll call. Vice Chair Onofrio? Yes. Secretary O'Rourke? Yes. Philip Dalmeyer? Yes. David McMahon? Yes. Deborah Purnier? Yes. Diane Bumbeck? Yes. And I'll make a motion to approve mm -hmm. the collective bargaining agreement between the North Cranford Board of Education and Local 1303-382 of Council Number 4 asks me, cafeteria workers, effective July 1st, 2014.